Welcome everyone to another video. Today I will be walking you through how to set up KeyPass, which is a free open source password manager you can use. And when set up properly, it will sync across all devices. Now I will post a link down below in the notes down in the video description to this page where you can download KeyPass for free for Windows. But please keep in mind, if you are going to be using a Linux or Mac OS device, I would recommend that you come down here and use KeyPass XE. These are just variations of KeyPass, they all work together, but please keep that in mind. If you are going to be using an iPhone or iOS device, I have recommended KeyPass Touch in the past. Some people don't like it, so as an alternative, Strongbox is a good alternative to use if you have, again, an iOS device, an iPhone or an iPad. For those of you using Android, I would recommend using KeyPass to Android, but again, there are alternatives here listed down the right, but this one has some of the best reviews and is very popular. So again, there you go, KeyPass to Android. Now, the last thing you will need in order to have this sync across all of your devices is you need to pick a cloud drive service, such as Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. The one I recommend going with is Dropbox, and the reason for that is because I've used them, I've used them with different devices, and I haven't had any issues. And so for today's purposes, for today's tutorial, I'm going to use Dropbox, but again, you can go with the cloud drive service that you prefer as well. So to get started, we're just going to come back over here to KeyPass, and we're going to go ahead and download it. And then we're going to come up here and open up and run the download. And then at this point, it's basically just like installing any other uh, program. We're just going to go ahead and proceed through the installation. We'll leave all of these boxes checked and click on Next. If it asks you about updates, go ahead and enable it. Now this is KeyPass. And so the first thing you want to do is we need to create a new database or encrypted file. So to do that, we're just going to click on File and go to New. And then here, we're just going to go ahead and click on OK. Now this part is very important. It's asking where you want to save this encrypted database for all of your passwords. And this is where the cloud storage comes in handy in order to sync it across all devices. So what you want to do is locate the uh, cloud drive that you went with. In my case, I went with Dropbox. So I'm just going to select Dropbox. And then you can call the database whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as database and click on save. Now at this point, it's going to ask you to set up a master password. And this is very important. Make sure you set up a very strong password because this is protecting basically your entire life. All of your passwords and logins are going to be located in this password manager. So you wanna make sure that you're using a very, very strong password. A strong password at minimum is 16 characters long, which includes upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. It's best if it's random. Uh, however, I know sometimes those can be difficult or annoying to type out. and so. I recommend actually going 20 characters long. Think of a random phrase, add some upper and lowercase letters, some numbers and symbols, and you should be good to go. Now I went ahead and created a password, and here, just so you are aware, there is an option where we can enable two-factor authentication, which can be, again, very handy because your entire life is going to be in this database. And so right here, if you would like to, you can select to create a key file, which again, basically works as two-factor authentication, and you can keep this file located wherever you would like to. If you need to move it to a USB flash drive, you can do that. But basically, even if someone gets a hold of your password, if they don't have this key file, they still cannot gain access to your database. The downside is if you ever lose this key file, you're locked out. So make sure that if you do use this option, that you always keep it in a safe place and always remember your password. For the purposes of today's video, however, I'm not going to create that. So we're just going to uncheck that box and then I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now at this point, for the most part, we're just going to go with the defaults, but here underneath General, you just wanna go ahead and type in whatever you want the database name to be. I'm just gonna type in Tester, and then one other option you may want to look into is here on Advanced. If you wanna set up a reminder for it to prompt you to change your master password X number of days, you can do that. You do not have to. Uh, everything else here you can go through, but for the most part, I just recommend you stick with the defaults. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. If you would like to, you can print out this emergency uh, sheet. However, if you do that, make sure you keep it stored in a safe place. Do not just leave it out in the open. For this situation, I'm just going to go ahead and click on Skip. And at this point, we can see that the database has been created. Now, it does have some samples or some examples of some entries. If you need to add an entry, for example, add a password or login, we just go to Entry, go to Add Entry, 
And then from here, you would just basically fill out all this information. So just for an example, I'm just going to type in testing. And then we're just going to just quickly fill out some of the information here. We'll put none for the notes. And then if I click on OK, we can see that it's now been entered in here. One thing I do want to know after you've added an entry, make sure you go to file and then click on save. And the reason for that is if you do not click on save, if you check out your cloud drive, the database will not be there. And so again, make sure you click on save after you add an entry. Now that's basically everything as far as getting it set up and started. You do have a lot of different options and tools you can use here. I'm not going to go through everything. Just want to get you started and go over some of the basic options. One thing I will know if you need to ever edit an entry, you just right click on it and go down to edit. And then for example, we can just add in a username click OK and you can see that it's there. If we just double click on it, it opens up our entry so we can see it. And so that's just a basic tutorial on how to get started with KeePass and have it set up so it's ready to sync across all your devices. Now over here on Mac, I just want to quickly show you what it's going to look like. Again, remember, as mentioned earlier, if you're going with Mac, go ahead and download and install the KeePass XC. And that's what I have here over on the left hand side. And you can also see that I've already got Dropbox installed and set up over here as well. And it's already synced the database that we created on Windows. We just got to get it set up here with KeePass XC. So to do that, we just need to click on Open Existing Database. We're going to select the database here in Dropbox and then click on Open. And then I'm just going to type in the password we created earlier for the database. Please remember your key file if you set one up. In my situation, I did not. So we're just going to go ahead and click on OK. And we can see all of our uh, passwords and usernames have synced across all devices. Again, I can't emphasize enough. Make sure you remember to click Save anytime you make an update. Otherwise, it will not sync across your devices. And then at this point, it would just be a matter of setting it up with the mobile devices, but it's basically the same concept. And so if you do have any questions or comments or you get stuck with anything, please post those questions down below. But that's everything for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.